Okay, so today we're going to play Jian Bian Fu, The Final Gamble, the game by Kim Kanger from Legion Games. Okay, so this is the map. Uh, the French have all these um, strong points and that's pretty much what the game is about. The Viet Minh has to conquer these strong points. In fact, they have to take... <clears throat> By the end of each game turn, they have to reduce the French strong point hexes to this number in order to not lose extra morale. And uh, as we get closer to the end of the game, the French might uh, surrender if the Viet Minh has taken enough strength, uh, strong points. So the main map, uh, in addition to the main map, we also have this little mini map of Isabel and a few off map boxes to move between the the main Jambian Fu area and Isabel. Uh, we also have lots of tracks to keep track of French ammunition, to keep track of medicine, food and bullets, fuel and spares. Uh, the Viet Minh keep track of their replacements. Each division of the Viet Minh has a specific morale. So all of these units, they have just a combat strength and the morale factor is actually determined by this track here instead. So for the 316th division, you would look at uh, this counter here. So we're currently at 5 morale, which is maximum game start. Uh, yeah, we have the Viet Minh ammunition as well. So this game. It has quite an extensive sequence of play. And um, it's, it's slightly asymmetric, so you do almost the same thing for the Viet Minh as you do for the French. But some things are different. So, to begin with, there will be a Viet Minh pre-assault phase where they will move they have some strategic movements and some tactical movement and in between they will place, place uh, artillery then they will conduct assaults and after assaults they will do some after combat moves and uh, mark isolated French and check morale to see if uh, Actually, if someone surrenders, then we have the French faces, uh, and they, that begins with airstrike. They will do some strategic movement and tactical movement in between again. They have some barrage, so they can also place artillery. Then they do their assault, assaults and uh, post-assault phase. So actually one of the most confusing things uh, when I started playing this game was when exactly can units move? Because there are tons of different types of movements that you can make and they all occur at different points in the game. So I made this little chart to keep track of exactly when things can move. Now the Viet Minh can do their strategic move uh, which is a bit long range move and then they have this tactical movement and then in between actually uh, the French before you get assaults they can actually do reaction move then we have its advanced under combat and after combat move and then we have the French that do all of these movements and there are there are no Viet Minh reaction moves so these valley moves fallback moves and box moves so so the Viet Minh can 
In the beginning of the phase they can perform a valley move and three units can move basically anywhere. They have to move within line of communication so they can't move through French zone of control. Then they can do a fallback move which is every, every Viet Minh unit that is adjacent to a French move it, unit can move one hex. And then they can also do a box move so units in boxes can move to another box or to a map edge. And then, of course, they have tactic mode, where each unit can move five movement points. And then they can do assaults, and during the assault phase, the Viet Minh assault phase, the French can actually react and move in non-adjacent... The units that are not adjacent to Viet Minh can actually move in this phase. And then after they've done their assaults, they can advance if they're successful, and... After combat move means that if you're in the open after the combat, you can move one hex away from uh, wherever you are, or you can move five movement points, not entering zone of control of a French unit. Okay, so basically this operational move is... Um, three units can move... Anywhere, as long as the final position is in Viet Minh line of communication and in a trench zone and not in French zone of control. So Viet Minh units, they trace their line of communication to any map edge. So it's usually quite easy for these guys to trace line of communication. And the dig zone and trench zone. Let me just briefly explain. So they could move units in uh, as long as the final hex is in a trench zone. Uh, in the beginning of the game, this little darker colored thing here is a trench zone. This is not, so you see you have this marker here, and when this marker is moved here, that would mean that now the trench trenches go all the way up here. So this type of terrain and this terrain is actually the same. Uh, this is the same and this is the same, it's just that like they belong to different trench zones. So instead of having trench markers that you place on the map, you just move this trench zone marker up and that means that now this area is entrenched. Okay, so for the valley move, uh, we have the 316th division here in the north and I think they have a few units that are actually not located where I want them to be. So this unit here will move and then valley move to um, I will put him over here. So actually it's good to keep units from the same uh, company together. So these are all they have these triangles. These guys can support each other, and these guys can support each other. There is another unit in the 316th division here, which is currently in Laos. And I cannot move that in the valley move. I will actually have to wait until the box move. And then the only place it can go is to this box. And then we'll have to wait until next turn to bring it in. So is there anything else? I only move one unit now in the valley move. I cannot enter French zone of control, so it's not a lot of things that it has to be in a trench zone. So I think that's it for the Viet Minh. Uh, valley move and then fallback move 
it's only if you are adjacent to any French units. I don't have any Viet Minh that is adjacent to a French unit. And then the box move. I will actually bring up this unit from the 316th division and move it to this box in the box move. I could move three units in boxes, uh, but I don't have these guys are just gonna stay here for now or maybe I actually just to be sure I move up two more units here 